Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. Well, today we traveled up north. We're fishing out of San Francisco Bay, out of Emeryville. And today we're fishing aboard the new Salmon Queen. We're fishing with Shem again. In the past, we've shown you the Caroline Islands and fishing along the coast here for rockfish. Well, today we got something totally different. We're fishing really close to the beach, past the Golden Gate Bridge. And we're gonna be drifting in here, mooching as they call it, looking for salmon, hopefully, maybe some thresher sharks, a halibut or two. You never know what to expect. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. Welcome to Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez. This week's episode of Sport Fishing is brought to you by Turner's Outdoorsman for all your fishing and hunting needs, by B-52 Bucktails and Magic Metal Jigs, by Yamaha, reliability starts here, by Game Saver for preserving your fishing game, and by Dan Hernandez Baja Style Fish Batter. Now we're going to probably be fishing anywhere from like 20 to 35 feet. Just pretty standard depths for salmon, okay? Once you get down to that depth, what I'm going to have you do is going to have you stick the rod in the rod holder. I know a lot of guys like to hold the rods, but I'm going to tell you right now, from my experience, when you hold the rod, you're going to jerk, jerk the rod when you get bit, okay? With these circle hooks, you can't do that, okay? These circle hooks, uh, the way they work is they slide out of the mouth and then they hook into the uh, corner of the jaw. What you need to do is you need to wait for that fish to go from a slack line and it'll start to angle away. As soon as it starts to angle away this way, you want to just, with the rod in the holder, just grab the reel handle and just start cranking. And I want you to keep turning and turning and turning until that rod seems to bend over and gets uh, hooked up with the fish. A lot of guys will reel and then they don't feel anything or see anything and they stop reeling and that's the kiss of death with these hooks they're barbless they fall right out okay so you once you start that commitment of cranking on it you want to keep going until that rod is folded over then you slide the rod out of the holder and fight the fish Well, them are for him. <laughs> Those are for him. Well, easy pressure, Chase. That thing, if it puts too much on it, it's going to break the hook off. You don't want to lose this one. Here. There you go. Yeah, that thing's going. Hey. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Lower the rod tip. Nice job. Yeah. First one. Alright. He was at 30. 25. This is Ron. He just caught the first salmon of the day. Nice, beautiful fish. Congratulations, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he's Very gonna nice. just saying hello there. We got him now, we're gonna get him now. Yeah, we're gonna take a little break from the action here. 
And we're going to go to the galley. We're going to show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish we're catching today on the new Salmon Queen up here in Emeryville, California. Nice fish. This week, the galley is brought to you by Dan Hernandez Baja Style Fish Batter Mix. Great for fish and all seafood. This week in the galley, I want to show you something a little bit different. Normally, when we're in the galley, we're cooking up the whole fish, showing you how to make a complete meal out of it. Well, today, I just want to show you how to make a dip, and we're going to be working with smoked fish. What we're going to do is we're going to take all these ingredients, put them in one bowl, mix them up to make our dip. So, we have some Dijon mustard, put that in the bowl, some celery. Some sweet relish. Try to just dip it in the bowl. <laughs> Have some parsley, red onions. Just put it all in here. We're gonna mix it all up later. Some garlic, bunch of mayonnaise. And if you like to use flavored mayonnaise, you can, but we're gonna add so much to this, it's gonna taste like a flavored mayonnaise. And the last one we're gonna add here is some Worcestershire sauce. Just pour that right on top. And the hardest part about this whole job is just blending this all up. We're just gonna mix this all up really good. And once we have this nice and blended, and just do it by hand, you don't need to use any equipment or anything. This is a fun dish you can do on the boat. And you can do this on the boat, just have everything prepared and all you have to do is just add it together like I'm doing here. Okay, now at this point all we want to do is add some fish. And this is smoked salmon that I had done for me and caught this up in Alaska. And you just add a little piece of fish at a time and blend it in to get it nice and flaky. And you just, just mix it all up really well. Now this looks pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is just add a tiny bit more salmon to it. There we go. Just blend it in a little bit more. That looks really good. And this is all there is. Now if I was at home, what I would do is just stick this in the refrigerator I'm going to leave it there for at least 15 minutes. 30 minutes would probably be a little bit better. Just let it all blend in and see how nice that is. And if I had this at home, serving it for a dinner or something, just make a little appetizer. That tastes great. I tell you, 30 minutes in the refrigerator, let this all chill down, it tastes even better. This is just a fun, simple dish you can do. Again, today we did it with smoked salmon, but if you want to do it with smoked tuna, albacore, It'll taste just as great too. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action here on Sport Fishing. We're getting bit right now. There we go. You need one of these reels over here, Dad. <laughs> We're out here fishing for salmon. We're out here fishing for salmon, but there's a lot of threshers around. So I, oh, busted it off. So I had this rod out there with a light leader on there and a little shark leader, but the shark leader I had was only like 40 pounds and uh, he probably ate it. So we need a heavier, heavier leader. What they say in Jaws, we might need a bigger boat. Well, we don't need a bigger boat. We just need heavier leaders. We're not fishing, we're not, nobody brought wire leaders. Nobody was prepared for sharks. And there's just a lot of sharks here today. I think we already have like seven or eight on the boat. And we've lost over 10 of them. All right, well, we'll be back. Take a little break from the action here. Yeah, that's what he did. He just broke through there at the little snap swivel. Right 
Go underneath, come on. Gotta go underneath. underneath. Come around, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me clear that. There you go. 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 You're clear. You're clear. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Right there is good. Okay. Now he's going all the way back. There you go. There you go. There it is. It's all tail wrap right there. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, I'm getting bit. Right now, I just got picked up. This is a thresher shark. He's running line. Running, 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 running. We're gonna say good, good morning to him right now. See, we got him. Yeah, he's still there. So I got a barbless hook on here because I was planning, thinking that by now we'd have a salmon on. So you can't have barbless, you can't have barb hooks and barbless hooks. So he's still there. Got a short wire leader, but it's thin wire leader. It's only like 50 pounds. Normally when I'm thresher fishing, I want to have something a lot bigger. There he is right there. Little one. Keep it right here. There she is. Got right there, huh? Oh. Is that what you wanted there? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize the was so <laughs> There she is. There she is. No, she's all right. Leave your right. We got him free spool. All right. A little bonus fish. <laughs> so a little, little thresher shark. Trying to get some bigger ones, but we'll take that one for now. It tastes delicious. Steak it all out. So we're gonna take a little break from the action here aboard the new Salmon Queen <laughs> and uh, show you the, the gear that we're using. Let's go visit the tackle box and we'll be right back with more action here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> This week, the Tackle Box is brought to you by the California Department of Boating and Waterways, reminding you to dump at the pump. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing up in the Bay Area today. Now, it's a salmon fishing trip, but we're finding lots of thresher sharks in the area. So I just want to go over the gear that we're using for today's fishing. Now, for this type of fishing, all you need is a reel this size, about 500 size reel, the whole 25 pound test line is what everybody's using. And you should have a nice light action rod for that. Now you can use the same outfit, doesn't matter if you're slow trolling the way they fish up there or mooching like we're doing today. Now the same outfit is what we're using to catch the thresh of sharks. Now you have to remember whenever you're fishing for salmon and as soon as one salmon is boarded on the boat, everybody on the same boat, same vessel has to be using circle barbless hooks and this is a circle hook here and you can take the circle hook and crimp down the bars with the pair of dikes or pliers the problem is if you don't get it all the way down and fish and game comes along and they take some dental floss and run it across your line and it catches anywhere on the hook you're going to get a citation and the captain's going to get one too so that's why on all the boats up here they have their own hooks. They have special barbless circle hooks for the salmon fishing. So if you don't have a hook, just ask the skipper before you get started. They'll supply that. Now, normally when we're fishing for sharks, we'd use an outfit like this, like wire. So what you can do, if you want to target sharks after a salmon's caught, you can bring some wire with you, but you're going to have to change the hook. You're going to have to use the same hook that everybody else is using, a barbless circle hook, and a hook like this with any sort of barb, doesn't matter what style it is, will it be illegal to use 
once there's a salmon on the boat. So that's the tackle we're using today. A little safety info so you don't get a citation on fishing up here during salmon season. Doesn't matter what kind of species of fish you're going for. Even if you decide to go for rockfish later in the day, you're still going to have to fish the barbless um, circle hook in that situation. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. All right, Sam, let's get this guy. Yeah. There he is, there's leader. Yeah. <laughs> snag the snag the fin. We're going to go after salmon uh, drift fishing, mooching, um, what we call mooching. And uh, we started off uh, this morning where we left off yesterday, which was really good, but we didn't, I think we had only like a couple bites. So basically, I ran inside uh, towards Stinson Beach where there was a little bite yesterday, um, in tight along the, right on the beach. And um, we, also, we also had some halibut and we knew of some thresher sharks. And, Immediately when we first dropped in, it was evident that the thresher sharks had moved in pretty, pretty heavy duty. We had multiple hookups, and uh, uh, it's going to be tough to land the threshers with the full boat like we have today, uh, especially the way that they like to run and, and, and uh, do these big circles and stuff, especially with the 22 guys on the boat. You get a lot of tangles, a lot of tangles, a lot of fish getting snapped off, the gears light, so even though the fish are are only like 20 to 30 pound average. Basically, um, with our lighter leaders and lighter uh, main line, uh, we tend to lose a lot of fish. Oh, we just made a move back in here and got bit by another shark. Let's see if he's still, yeah, he's still there. Trying to get the line back. He made a long run, but probably don't have much of a chance. Got 20 pound test main line, and about 15 pound leader. So unless I got really lucky, and he just has on the corner of his jaw, but he could just wipe the line with his tail and be over. So we're just gonna take our time, see if we can get him up a little bit. Now this one doesn't have a leader on it. Yeah, this is Shem, owner operator of the boat. So I know you don't normally target threshers, but maybe you ought to think about targeting. Well, there's, there's another one. Like well, that's, a, that's the second one. Oh, Double. Over here, come on. They're going underneath. Go in. Getting cut me. Okay, now. We're wrapped on the same. No, no. Come on, back up, back up, back up. No, but we're wrapped. We're, we're wrapped. We're wrapped. Get yours in. No, we're wrapped. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it busted me up. Yeah, I was wrapped on them. Yeah. No chance that. Yeah. That's a different one. Yeah, that's a different fish. It's a different fish. Take your clicker off. Okay. Uh, we just lost both of them. Mine got cut off when uh, his ran and cut through my line. And Harry lost his and just paid through it. That's part of this. We're not prepared for shark fishing. 
came to fish for salmon and for rockfish. So we don't have any wire leaders, so that's, that's gonna happen. But we've been lucky so far today. We got a bunch of sharks on the boat. Just fish that were just hooked correctly, and we just got really lucky. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action here aboard the new Salmon Queen. When we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. This week's tip of the week is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs and Bucktail Jigs. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about what happened on this trip. You know, we came up here not really knowing what to expect. In the past, when we fished out of Emeryville, we caught lots of rockfish, lean cod, but we've never experienced the salmon fishing or even knew that there was good numbers of thresher sharks up here. And that's what we found today. Shem put us on those threshers. Just fantastic action. I'm sure you all enjoyed it today. Just lots of action, lots of fun. And that's part of the fun of coming up here. If you've never been up here, fish out of San Francisco area, San Francisco Bay, out of Emeryville Sport Fishing, I really recommend you book a trip and come out here. You know, it's just a beautiful view being here by the Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, lots of people have driven over it, but very few have gone underneath it. It's just a neat experience. And fishing out here is fantastic. Doesn't matter what time of year you come, there's always something to catch. And as we always find out coming here in the September and summertime, there's plenty of great action too. I want to thank the crew of the new Salmon Queen, Captain uh, Shem, owner operator, does a great job. I know you won't be disappointed booking a trip with them, you should really do that. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.